This is the story of Alfredo doing his regular exercise in the park each day. On a day of destiny, he stumbled upon something that not only emotionally touched his life, but resulted in a complete change of direction. This story will take you on a journey of hope, despair, making decisions and ultimately being confronted with sacrifice. Alfredo was a single man in his 40s. At the time, he was living on his own. He was still working through his emotional pain caused by a failed relationship. After years of constant fighting, Alfredo and his wife decided to go their separate ways. One of the main reasons for the divorce was that they could not conceive a child. The marriage ended after 10 years and this left Alfredo alone and filled with emotions of failure and despair. Alfredo often thought of parenthood. He understood that this was one of the most unselfish things a person could do. Having children requires a parent to be totally committed, making many sacrifices and investing time to build into the character of the child. He was missing out on this opportunity, although the mere thought of this responsibility often overwhelmed him. Alfredo worked at an office job in the city. He did not particularly love his job, but it was a way to provide for his basic needs. One of the things he loved, though, was to go running. Every morning at 7, he would go for a 10-kilometer run in the park. This gave him some sense of purpose. Then he would return to his home and take a shower before going to work. Living a healthy lifestyle was important to him. This was one of the things he did when he and his wife wanted to conceive. He kept himself in a healthy physical condition, making sure that he was not contributing to their inability to fall pregnant. He also was a good husband to his former wife. What saddened Alfredo's heart was that after the divorce, his wife got married again and soon after she fell pregnant. He felt like a failure as a man. It took him such a long time to open up his heart in such a way that he really embraced becoming a father. Now he had to work through the emotion of failure and disappointment. What started out as just another normal day ended up becoming one of the most significant days in Alfredo's life. He embarked on his daily 7 o'clock run. Somehow, there was a strange anticipation in his spirit. He just had a strange feeling about the day that he could not shake. The crisp morning air pierced through his lungs. The morning was unusually quiet. Alfredo paused for a moment, listening to the silence. He was about to put on his earphones to start his run when he heard a strange sound. Initially, thinking it was a bird, he yet again wanted to put on his earphones. This was his habit to drown out the sounds that can cause distraction. Running was the time he could be alone with his thoughts. This time, he heard a cry coming from a small distance away. It was like the cry of a trapped, injured animal, but somehow Alfredo knew there was something different. He ran to the play area, a sense of urgency pulling him towards the crying sound. There, in between the apparatus of the play area, Alfredo found a little, innocent, abandoned baby wrapped in a blanket. The baby was pale and cold, struggling to take the next breath. He was getting quieter. It was as if the cry was his last hope of attracting someone's attention to save his life. Tears started rolling over Alfredo's cheeks. He could not help but feel extreme compassion for this helpless little baby. Without hesitation, Alfredo carefully picked up the little baby and rushed to the nearest hospital. All the time, he was praying that the little one would survive. If it was not for Alfredo, the baby might have died. He had been in the right place at the right time. When the hospital staff saw the little baby, they knew he urgently needed intervention. They also immediately called the police to report the abandoned baby. When an abandoned baby is found, emotions usually run high. Alfredo got caught up in the legal mess of having to explain how and when he found the baby, eliminating him as a suspect of the abandonment and having to deal with the overwhelming emotions of this discovery. He could not comprehend how someone could abandon a helpless, defenseless newborn baby boy, let alone be suspected of being involved. After giving testimony to the police and being exonerated, Alfredo returned to the hospital, eagerly inquiring about the baby's condition. The little baby's lungs and other organs had been compromised and doctors were not sure he would survive. This caused an extreme emotional response as Alfredo felt responsible, his heart breaking into million pieces. He wanted to do everything he could to help the baby survive. The regular morning jog now became an early morning hospital visit. After that hour, he had to drag himself away to go to work. 
As soon as the working day was done, he would return to the hospital to see how the little boy was doing. As the baby had no family, the hospital made Alfredo the emergency contact. Alfredo took responsibility for the medical expenses incurred while trying to save the boy's life. The staff at the hospital all got to know and love Alfredo. They had great respect for his unselfish commitment. Alfredo had a new reason to live. They named the little boy Eduardo who bravely clung to life. During the first week, the little boy did not show any signs of improvement. He was weak and connected to life support machines. Alfredo felt helpless and could only pray that the boy would fight to stay alive. The story became known in the city. The media daily visited the hospital and gave updates on how both Eduardo and Alfredo were doing. Alfredo was praised for his noble deed. Although people would harshly judge a mother abandoning her child, Alfredo often wondered what circumstances led to the mother abandoning her helpless baby. He knew there must have been difficult circumstances that resulted in this abandonment. One day, while entering the hospital, he saw a girl in a school uniform sitting on a bench in front of the building. He saw pain and anguish in her face and sensed without a doubt that this must be the young mother of Eduardo. He quietly sat down next to the girl and started talking to her. He told her he did not judge her actions, but wanted her to know that she endangered the life of a totally innocent and helpless child. Although life is often difficult, she had other options but to abandon her baby. Alfredo offered to take her to the baby. The girl started crying, showing great remorse for her selfish deed. She thanked Alfredo for being the angel that saved her child when she was unable to deal with the situation. She regretted her actions, but did not feel strong enough to see her baby or face the consequences of her actions. She wished for her baby to have a safe home to grow up in. The girl left crying and Alfredo kept her secret. Her words resounded in his ears that she hoped that Alfredo could give the boy the good life he deserved. Alfredo hoped Eduardo would survive, but he did not think that he would be a good father. One morning, Alfredo got a call from the hospital. Expecting bad news and being prepared for the worst, the nurse told Alfredo the baby opened his eyes and started breathing on his own and looked much better. He rushed to the hospital and was informed that Eduardo was out of the woods. From the moment he held the baby in his arms, he knew his heart had just confirmed the decision he had already made – to adopt Eduardo and raise him as his own son. Although the legal process was difficult, he pledged to remind Eduardo every day how brave a little boy he was. Raising the baby on his own proved to be difficult at times. There were practical and emotional challenges, but Alfredo learned to be a dedicated father. Little Eduardo grew up to be a kind man. Today he is raising his own family with strong values that include honesty, kindness and bravery. He is eternally grateful for the sacrifice his father made to rescue and raise him. Alfredo, on the other hand, has peace in his heart, a loving son and daughter-in-law with grandchildren of his own to enrich his life. He is a great inspiration of how to reap the benefits of the values and principles he instilled in his boy. This is such an inspirational story with a great ending. We hope you have enjoyed this and that you will subscribe to the channel to continue to share in these heartwarming and inspirational moments.